Welcome back to Good Morning Marketers. More and more people are accessing the web from their mobile phones. This change in consumer behavior means that marketers must design and develop websites that cater specifically to mobile use. Joining us today is Bruce, our development manager, and Connie, a graphic designer, to talk about how to create effective mobile websites. Welcome to the set, guys. Good Thanks. Morning. Bruce, can you start off by explaining what a website needs in order to support mobile technology? Well, uh, you know, as you know, uh, people accessing websites through mobile devices is on the rise right now um, and will continue to be. A um, couple of constraints out there right now uh, with mobile devices and mobile websites are that the screen resolutions vary uh, from very small, very big, and the internet connection can be a little slower than what people accessing regular websites will be used to. A um, couple things to focus on is to keep your most uh, important content and functionality quick and to make it as user-friendly as possible. So what are some challenges then to creating a mobile-friendly website? Well, the first challenge is going to be the screen resolution size. Um, different handheld devices are going to have different resolution. Uh, square, long, rectangle, you have your iPhone, you have your Blackberry, and you have your smartphone all of which will have their own respective unique experience. Uh, so taking that into account is a major challenge. The next is going to be the advancement in technology. So what's coming up next? Uh, what am I going to have to design this mobile device or mobile site rather to accommodate? Uh, and then the final challenge is actually testing whatever you output um, across these different devices. So what is your target market going to be using? Uh, which ones should you test against? What kind of emulators can you have installed or use to test? What are some factors to consider or how do you overcome some of the challenges that you mentioned? Uh, so programmatically, um, and when you're designing these things uh, code-wise, what you want to do is get back to basics. Look up the standards, because uh, those will not die out. Next is watch your padding and margins on your design. Uh, keep it keep it within the space or allow it to mold within whatever handheld resolution you may have and then focus on navigation how do they get from point A to point B as quickly as possible to that information that they need. Look is important too. Where do you begin when designing a mobile website? There are a few questions that you can ask yourself. Why would a user visit the site? What is the essential information for the target audience? And how does this user differ from somebody sitting at a desk? You can use these answers to guide your process. What are some design elements to consider? A mobile website works best when it's simple and clean. Make sure you include plenty of white space and color combinations that have good contrast that are easy to read. As Bruce mentioned, internet connection speeds are slower, so only include a few images and prioritize your content so the user can find what is essential to them. The best mobile sites are designed so the information is quick to access and easy to read. Thanks to our guests, Connie and Bruce, for joining us today on Good Morning Marketers to talk about creating a website for mobile devices. To learn more about mobile development, give us a call at 888-321-8422 or join us on the web at www.thundertech.com. Can't do it. You can do it. Matt, can you turn the camera off and then <laughs> I'll just. <laughs> okay. It's kind of difficult because you have to like. Did you get that on tape? That's well, you have a. You, you, you say Sorry. it's good to be here and I'll be like. Thanks. What thanks. <laughs> okay. and someone can say good morning or right. something. Okay, I'll say good morning. Hi. You say it's all good right, to be here. all right, all right. All right, everybody. All right. Yeah. Awesome.